Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God, this is your daily devotional reading. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen White, February 25th, Trust and Obey. When we walk with the Lord in the light of His Word, what a glory He sheds on our way. While we do His good will, He abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Trust and obey. Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. Jeremiah chapter 17, verses 5 through 7. Like the Jews in the days of Christ, many today hear and believe, but are not willing to step out upon the platform of obedience and accept the truth as it is in Jesus. They are afraid of losing worldly advantages. Their minds assent to the truth, but to obey means to lift the cross of self-denial and sacrifice and to cease trusting in man and making flesh their arm. And they turn away from the cross. They might sit at the feet of Jesus, learning daily of him whom to know aright is life eternal, but they are not willing. Everyone who is saved must surrender his own plans his ambitious schemes, which mean self-glorification and follow where Christ leads the way. The understanding must be yielded up to Christ for him to cleanse and refine and purify. This will always be done when a right reception is given to the teachings of the Lord Jesus. It is hard for self to die daily, even when the wondrous story of God's grace is presented with the wealth of his love, which he unfolds to the soul's necessity. Oh, how much we need a more intimate acquaintance with the Lord Jesus. We need to enter into his will and carry out his purposes, saying with the whole heart, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? Oh, how I long to see our churches in a condition different from the condition in which they now are grieving the Holy Spirit day by day with their lukewarm religious life, a life neither cold nor hot. Christ says, I would thou wert cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Revelation chapter 3, verses 15 and 16. Oh, how greatly Christ would be honored and glorified before irreligious, worldly men and women if his followers were what they claim to be, true Christians. The love of Christ constraining them to make him known before an idolatrous world, showing the marked contrast between those who serve God and those who serve him not. We are to tell others of the love of Christ. And in order to do this, we must know by experience what it means to have this love in the heart. All will find abundant opportunities to work if they will improve the opportunities that come to them. This Day with God, February 25th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.